Hello and welcome people to City Car Driving. This is serving two purposes today. I wanted to do a video on this game, but I had no steering wheel. I got a steering wheel yesterday. Not 100% happy with it, but I will also do a quick review of it. Right, let's start with the basics of steering wheel. It's Thrustmaster. It feels amazingly well built. Like I have to say, I had a driving lesson in a car. In the car, the actual car didn't feel as well built as his wheel. Downsides. Um, downside. I want to start with the one that is really driving me up the wall. Size. This thing was advertised as a proper PlayStation gaming wheel. It's not. No gaming wheel this size. It's just not. I will try and look up a picture. I will post a link to its Amazon. The Thrustmaster T60. It's tiny. Like, even compared to my old Ferrari GT experience, which is still sitting there, but the pedals don't work, which is why I replaced it. It's tiny. Second downside, pedals aren't axes. I want to tell you that right out, that may not annoy people that they're on or off knots. They're not variable. Like basically they're not axes or buttons. Third thing is I know it has a the option for a table clamp. But say if you're just me and you just want to set up for five or ten months, I do have a proper steam wheel rack there. The light clamps are just awkward as all hell. Other niggles, um, I can't really think of any at the top of my head, apart from again the size. When you're doing, like, say you're doing a rapid steering, say you're in a drift, your hands bump into each other, will knock the other hand off, and you're steering one handed. Check all my controls there. Anyway, let's get on to doing this. But I do love the sounds in this game, but it does interfere with my recording. To change gear in this you have to, well what's an automatic, you have to press the brake pedal fully. I think most real automatic cars are like this, I would need to double check that. It's a safety thing. I release the handbrake and let's get going. Some of the error messages are quite basically they're just a pile of pies. No one in their right mind would have their lower beams on at this time. Not unless they were like broke down in an awkward place. Alright, because I don't have the leg clamps on at the moment because they know the crap out of me. Because they either cut under my legs, because I'm not the lightest person, or they disconnect the most awkward moments. But I'm beginning to say at the moment they're better than nothing. Traffic lane. But I wasn't blocking anyone. Again, some of these are quite.
Let's see what happens. Yeah, like that's going to happen. I do wish, but the other game I want to test this in BMNG, it's a pain to set that up with a with a steering wheel at the moment because it doesn't have any in-game way of setting it up. You have to add a notepad so you have to know exactly what they type in. That's just a pain at the moment. If someone on YouTube maybe does a quick tutorial on it. Feel free! Right, I'm aware that's quite short, but... At the moment I don't see much of a point of going... Well, actually I do see a point now. Entertainment. Make a fool of myself. For your entertainment. And because I just want to get driving. People ever drop something just disappears into the black voids of nothingness. Worst thing is I can't even find my phone at the moment to use it as a torch. The primary use for 95% of mobile phones, torch. Right, the other leg clamp appears to... Oh no, I got it. I don't like these leg clamps that much, but I've just discovered they're, they're better than nothing. They're a pain to install, but they come out as easy as piss. I don't see the point in them. to have someone else try this video before I release it because I'm not sure about those sound levels. I don't get that, I'm not blocking anyone, I'm not crashing into anyone yet. They won't they fucking book me for it. People that is how you park. You don't sit there for 20 minutes in the middle of the road dittering and something. And you don't just pull out in front of someone and there they take their nose off. And you also try to park straight. If there's white lines, park in between them. You do not park across two spaces, you do not park across four. You all just park whatever way you feel like it. You park between the lines. It's called society, people. It's so er more people can get spaces. Now, I will rant quite a lot. I will probably go on a lot more of those rants 
especially about bad parking. Little niggas about driving, especially when doing this, because I love your trucks in there. I will not get back in there until I get a proper wheel. See there, that's okay because that's how you're supposed to park there. I have enough time there. To I know people, that's a risky manoeuvre, but if there's very little traffic like there is now, go for it! Right people, that city car driving, love the game, love the physics of the driving. So many things make the game seem unpolished. Like I don't even care about the 2D trees. Some things make the game seem unpolished, like some of the sensitivities with the air, the law breaking messages like low beams, etc. Like that day, you don't need low beams on. You just don't. Seatbelt ones I can understand, but some people in certain types of car, like they leave their seatbelt on so they can look round them until they're on the road. The acceleration braking thing, that's the problem the steering wheel. Which leads me on my next part. The T60, the Thrustmaster T60. Just look at the box there. Solid little wheel. I would recommend it for children but not for proper gamers. Personally, let's take for example the pedal stack. The travel on it, I know they're glorified buttons, but still. As you can see there, that's... My foot is flat on that thing. I have that pedal bottom out and it's not recognised as full throttle. That may be the game's fault, that may be the throttle's fault. Still not happy with it. Brings one next point. If you're going to put a stack of pedals in, make them proper pedals. Do not do glorified buttons. Just don't. With all this modern technology, it's just douchebag. Third thing is size. If it's a small wheel, say it's a small wheel. Do a photo of it like clamp their desk for reference of size. Other things here with those leg clamps. I have seen better systems. I absolutely despise those leg clamps. But I can see they're sort of necessary if you don't clamp it to a table which some people's children or some people this is also a PS3 one may not have a table to clamp it to. Things I do like are the bald quality. Then that's just to give them a Thrustmaster 90% they present their products are well bald. The other 10% are like bad batches or just a bad one that snuck through quality control. Which can happen with every company. Which is why I hate people who say oh well I got one bad thing from that company I'll never buy from them again. I do love the bald quality, I love the feel of it, it feels a good solid sturdy wheel wheel, I could stand up to even me being quite destructive. Again the size that is partially Amazon's fault. The third thing, I fight this tooth and nail, I don't think. Amazon advertises as PS3 slash PC. That's a joke. This is not fully PC compatible. 
it's just not because these aren't recognized the pedals are not recognized as separate buttons to L2 and R2 which works for the PS3 works fine for that but for actual I've just noticed too the R1 and L1 well, well the polish shifters do work separately but they're marked R1 and L1 like maybe a must run I suppose it's supposed to be R3 and L3 Again, love the bolt quality, hate the size, hate the fact I think they're lying bastards and it's not PC compatible. Amazon, it may be Amazon's fault, it may be Thrustmaster's. Thrustmaster, it's not even on their product listings. It's on their website, but if you go into their support, which is where it matters, it's not in their product listings. And I think even the driver has a peg to some weird name, but I think that's the assembly line name, not the retail name. Some people may know that in a company an item might have a different name than what it would on the shelf. So if any emails are like people don't immediately realise which product they're talking about. Hate the light clamps. I actually like for the size of it, it has a nice weight and the wheel has nice resistance. It's light but it's not too light. The pedals, I thought they were a bit light when I got them but now they seem to be, maybe they got primed a bit or something, now they seem to be sort of, now when you put your full weight behind them they were a bit far forward. Two, on a carpet they're not non-slip. On a carpet you may need to look at some way of securing them. I will recommend at some point I'll dig out the Amazon like I have a steering wheel rack here. I got it just after I got the, my old wheel though for RGT experience. Great wheel made me go back to Thrustmaster for my flight stick and for my second wheel. Flight stick, there's a whole task X. I will do a review of it when I do Microsoft Flight Simulator at some point. Anyway, thank you for watching. If this has been boring, I'm sorry. Please subscribe, please watch my videos, please recommend me to your friends. And over in the corner, I'm my alarm clock's going up.